What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. As Samsung released the brand new version of GoodLock application recently, and they did push out a couple of important updates for the plugins as well. And among them, we got one of the important plugins that is Sound Assistant, which got a brand new update, and it gets a very important and crucial feature as well. And in this video, I'd like to discuss about the same. But before we go ahead, if you haven't yet downloaded our brand new wallpaper application called Volvers, go ahead, there are some amazing collections the link is in the description and while you do that be sure to hit that subscribe button to become a part of apex community to know your phone better now let's go ahead let me show you the sound assistant change log now let's tap on this eye icon we need to go to this three dot button here and tap on go to store this is where you will find the change log as you can see the latest version is 7.1.00.7 and in the note it says version 7 supports device running on one UI 7 and the new features which are added are maintain media volume while using navigation option. Now this is a very important feature which has been added I'll come to that in a bit and then it says please note that this feature may behave differently depending on specific navigation applications and applied one UI 7 UI to my own volume panel. Now if I open the application you can see we have got a slight different UI here which matches the One UI 7 UI on this application. Now the important feature that has been added is right here when I scroll down you can see maintain media volume while using navigation. Now let me just disable this. It says can't reduce the media volume while using navigation. Now let me tell you why this is a very important feature. Now what this means is if you have enabled this toggle whenever you are using the navigation apps like Google Maps or any other navigation apps and if you're playing music on your device, maybe if you're playing some media while your phone is connected to your car's infotainment system, and if you have turned on the navigation direction announcement on the navigation application like Google Maps, then the media volume like your music volume will not go down whenever there is an announcement. What I mean to say is, let's say you are driving, you have connected your phone to the infotainment system and you have turned on the maps. And if you're also listening to the directions from the maps, then every time there is an announcement, the music volume or the media volume will go down briefly until the direction announcement is over and then your media volume will come back to normal but if you enable this specific option under sound assistant what happens is your media volume will remain the same even when there is an announcement of course if you don't need that announcement on the google maps you will be able to turn it off you can just mute it on the maps application but if you want that at the same time you want to maintain the media volume you can do that as well and this is a very thoughtfully done feature now added on sound assistant module now i haven't tested this yet we do not know on which navigation applications this will work i will test it out and i will let you know guys if it is working fine or not that is the brand new feature and apart from this you can also see if you have enabled the sound assistant module let's say if you have customized your volume panel that new customized volume panel now supports the one UI 7 theme as you can see i have already enabled it when i expand this this is the one UI 7 theme that we have as you can see if i increase the volume to 100 percent then this becomes bright and when I reduce it, it gets darker towards the bottom. Now that is the One UI 7 theme now applied for the Sound Assistant volume panel as well, which is pretty cool. Let me know whether you have got this update or not, drop a comment. The latest update was received a few days ago and the uh, version number is 7.1.00.7 and the size is about 18 MB that we have. And if you are new to Samsung Galaxy phones and if you want to know what is the sound assistant all about, this is a plugin or an application from GoodLock which enables us to customize the volume panel, make our own volume panel colors, and we also have multiple other functionalities which I will quickly show you here. Now when I tap on customize volume panel, you can see I can tap on custom and this is where you'll be able to tap on this and move this panel wherever you want. You can customize it. Let's say you want to bring it down here to the bottom. You can do that. Now you see when I increase the volume or decrease the volume, the volume panel is right here. This becomes easy to handle the volume panels in one hand and you can position it wherever you want. I can bring it to the middle, to the top or to the bottom. And you can also change the layout to right or left depending on your requirement. And you can see we've got the show volume panel level. When I increase the volume, uh, volume here, you can see if I enable this, you will be able to see this percentage of volume and if I disable it, you will not be able to see that percentage on the top of this volume bar. I'll keep it enabled. You've got a floating button here. If I enable that, we can get this floating button. I can tap on this to uh, open the volume panel. I don't really need the need to press this button. This floating button will always be available. I can just tap on this to expand it and increase or decrease the volume here. That's another option we have got. And not just that, if you have enabled the floating button, you can tap on this again to sync the position. You can also change the position of this button wherever you want, you can place it. Let me just turn this off. 
And we also have dual app volume. And then we have got this expanded panel customization where you can enable or disable toolbar functions. You can enable or disable Bluetooth metronome option. And you can also enable or disable the app volume. If you enable it, you will be able to set the specific separate app volumes right here and you'll be able to control it right here on the panel. Now that is how you can customize it on this customization option. Then we have got this brilliant feature called make your own volume panel colors. We can change the lighting effect, shape and color of the volume panel here. You can see if I enable this, I get to see this beautiful looking volume bar here and it looks just fantastic. You can select the lighting effect, you can select the texture, control type, you can select the bar or the circular knob. Then you can select the shapes here. We've got multiple different shapes. We've got these amazing options to customize the volume panel. And this is called Flex Volume UI from Samsung. And when I tap on theme, you can see we have got some themes here which can be created or you'll be able to select the presets here. Now let me just select this preset and uh, okay, now this is selected and I'll go back here and turn off this flex volume UI. Now let's see how this volume panel looks here. Here we go. It looks actually pretty cool. It is subtle compared to the, uh, the flex UI that we have. And you can also see one UI 7 theming right here uh, on these colors as well. When you increase it, it becomes dark. And when you reduce it, it fades away towards the bottom. Now that is the uh, customization option that we have on the sound assistant module. Then we have got individual app volumes. You can tap on that to select the individual apps. Here it says add applications to change the volume of this app individually. Select from the multimedia apps below to change the app volume individually. Now let me add music app here. I'll just select, I wish there was a search option. Yeah, we do have a search option here. Now I will select YouTube music. I'll have to tap on plus button to add it. Now I have added both the applications and when both the applications are running on the device, we will be able to control the volume separately for these two applications. Now let me just expand the panel here. Here we go, we have got the music control here and then I've got the map volumes also here. And you can add any applications that you want. Let me add another app here. Let me tap on plus and add one more application, maybe Spotify, I'll tap on plus. Now we've got three options here. Now let me play Spotify here. I'm just uh, showing this to you for the purpose of this video. I will run three applications now here. Now let's see what happens. Yes, we do have uh, all the three applications control, uh, the volume control for all the three applications right here. As you can see, this is a brilliant feature that we have. We can control the volume of individual applications, which is fantastic. Now that's a brilliant feature. Let me go back. Then we have got a few more options like control volume, media manner mode. When your phone is set to vibrate or mute, media volume is also muted that you can enable here. Change step volume, select a step on the media slider to adjust the rate at which the volume is changed. It's selected at 10 by default. If I reduce it to one, let's see what happens. Now, when I try to increase the volume, when I tap once, it is very, very slow to increase. It is just increasing by one step each time I press it. And if I put it to uh, somewhere around five, then you can see every time I press the button here, it goes up by five steps. And if I increase it to 10, when I uh, press the button, you can see it quickly increases here. Now that can also be customized. And uh, we have got this control music with volume keys. Press and hold the volume keys to go to the next or previous track when the screen is locked or turned off. So if you enable this, you'll be able to control your music player by just pressing and holding on the volume keys to go to the next track or to the previous track. Then we've got favorite media application option. Select an app to play and control music. We will be able to select an application to play and control music when you press multimedia keys on your connected headphones, Bluetooth device, etc. If the currently open application supports multimedia keys, it will play through that app instead. That's another option we have. And then we have got a few more options like Bluetooth metronome. We will be able to sync the Bluetooth sound for videos. You can just tap on this to adjust it here, but you need to connect the Bluetooth device, then you can uh, do this. And then we have got advanced settings by tapping on which you will see alerts through headphones. Here ringtone notification and alarm sounds only through headphones. You can just enable the ringtones alarm tones or notification tones, which can be heard only through headphones. Uh, this is a very useful feature. If you're wearing your headphones and listening to music, you can turn off the ringtone, turn off the alarm tones and turn off the notification tones so that you don't get that sound directly into your earphones while you're listening to media. And that's a brilliant feature we have got on the sound assistant module. And then we have got a brilliant feature called voice changer and multi-sound option also. We can apply fun effects to the microphone. Whenever you are making a call, you'll be able to 
apply fun effects to your voice, the receiver or the other person on the other end will be able to hear the voice in different effects. You can just enable this and here you go. We got these options here. All the voice effects are mentioned here and we'll be able to test it out as well. Let me show you that. What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. Now listen to this. What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Let me just bring the mic closer here. What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. That's how it works. And you can also customize the voice effect. You can tap on plus button here and further customize these effects. Just look at the kind of advanced options that we have got on this module. This is just brilliant for people who want to use all these features. I don't think uh, people are using even 10% of what Samsung offers. These are some incredible features which are available on the Galaxy phones, a good lock application. Anyways, the last feature that we have is multi sound option. Select which app can play audio at the same time as other applications. You can enable it and you can select the application for multi sound here now these are some brilliant options we have got and samsung has just enhanced it they have added a brilliant feature now with this all new update for sound assistant module that's all i wanted to share with you guys in this video thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead subscribe you will get to learn a lot about your device and you will stay updated with everything that is happening with your phone so go ahead subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye